So one of the first things that we're gonna take a look at here is getting into the Visual Basic environment, where you're gonna be writing and interacting with your code, your Visual Basic code within the Excel environment. Now, open in front of you, I've just opened up a brand new workbook, just went file, new, created a new workbook. It's called book one, right? And it's got a single sheet inside of there. Now, what I'm gonna go through here, I'm currently working inside of my Office 365 subscription account. And I'm working within Excel 2019 through that subscription. Now, if you're on an earlier version, like 2016, 13, 2010, now, uh, this is all going to be exactly the same, what I'm about to do right here by activating the developer tab so we can get into the VBA window. Now, if you're on 2007, this is going to be a bit different, but I'll throw a screen, a little screen capture up on the screen right here so you can see where you go to activate this tool within the 2007 edition. All right. And if you're on a Mac, it's going to be a little bit different there. Then I'll drop a link down below inside the description as well as the blog post link where you can find instructions on how to activate this on the Mac as well. So same tools, but the process of activating is a little bit different. Hopefully uh, yeah, yeah, Microsoft's done a pretty good job in the later editions to keep it consistent. Um, but if you're on earlier versions or different platform, it is gonna be a little different. That's just the way it is. So what I'm gonna do here is we need to customize the ribbon, the series of tabs here. And all I'm going to do is right click one of those tabs and I'm going to go to customize ribbon. This will open up my Excel options window, which you can also get to by going to file options, same window. I'm on the customize ribbon section and over on the right, I've got all the tabs and you'll notice that there's one in there called developer on my computer. It's currently not checked. So I'm going to go ahead and check that box. I'll hit okay. And I now have the developer tab at the top of my screen. There it is. If I click that developer tab, I've got all these options here on the left hand side that deal with code or with the visual basic side of Microsoft Excel. So that's the first step. Let's get the developer tab active on your system. And then once you do have it active there, we can go into code and we can click the visual basic button. You'll notice when I hover my mouse over it, the shortcut key there, again, I'm working on a Windows system, is Alt F11. So I can get to it there as well. But I'll click Visual Basic, and this will open up my Visual Basic or VBA window. So let's do that first. Get that active, Developer tab, right click, Customize Ribbon, turn on Developer, and open up the VBA window. Now remember, if you're on 2007, it's gonna be a little bit different, and I got a screenshot here, there you go, of where you can go to activate this in the 2007 environment. Here in 2007 Excel, you're gonna to go to a little office icon, which is up in the top left corner of your Excel window. You're gonna to go to that little button, then to options. This will open up the Excel options window. You'll go to popular, and in there you got a check mark for show developer tab in ribbon. That's all you need to do. From there, it's exactly the same. You'll go to the developer tab, you can click on the visual basic button, and it'll open up the VBA window. So nail that down, and then we'll jump into the next video.